Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat, and Dan, I'm gonna play some standard popper with RR Media 1's Gary's Cruise deck, just because I love resolving treasure crews and Grey Merchant Vasfordel. Aha, it's the man himself. I hope it's not the mirror. Keep it. No Garys. Sweet. So can he now defeat my evil deck? We shall see. Or Medio is a master brewer for standard pauper, so I'm sure he has come up with something good. He's gonna suffer Farika's chosen beatdown! Ahaha! Draw cards! I like drawing cards! Drawing cards is sweet! But which cards? Yeah, that kind of works. It's the blue red deck. So now we could negate my sign in blood, but I guess dams the breaks. No, he did not. So maybe it's blue red control. Yeah, I'll recast that later. Discarding cards seems like fun. Filling my graveyard. Okay, Farika's Chosen returns and then Divination. I think. There is no hurry to cast Gary. All these cards, so sweet. Black cat sign in blood. Perhaps. The cruise not into counter mana. Hmm. Black cat. Uh, that's not the way to cast sign in blood. <laughs> okay, that was sloppy. Now I have a voyage's end to defend myself against his minotaurs though. No, it died. Well, if he cruises now, I can cruise later. Damn it. The horrible play on my part. Hmm. Okay. Attack. Evolving Wilds for a black mana. Show some. Treasure Cruise, yes. Refilling the hand. Keep voices end up. Against his nasty... Wow, he had a mind rot. He's playing Grixis. That's ambitious. Shh. 
So what are his kill conditions? I wonder. I will now save one of my guys from a uh, lightning strike just because. Oh, maybe that's premature. Okay, swing. Now even drawing cards is bad. But I can't really cast a Gary into counter mana, so I hope to find something I can play here. <laughs> Injury, treasure, cruise, divination. Oh wow. So I guess I'll have to divinate. At least I'll fuel the cruise. Or uh, take a negate out of action. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So ready to use Voyager's End. I'm signaling it like crazy. Play something, I can watch it. No, it's Treasure Cruise. Damn your cruises, sir. Okay, swing with the little guys. Play an Evolving Wilds, get the blue mana this time, I think. Play the Black Cat. And be happy with that. Quiz form. There's the black man at least. And he's tapping out for the hexproof guy, but that's gonna be sweet. So I can just do so many things. Liam is the death touch at home. Hmm. Four for the cruise. Just cruise Gary. Can't be wrong, can it? Cruising for Gary. So, ooh, Disciple of Phoenix. But I can do that next turn. For right now, we just want to Gary. But do you really want to attack? At six life. Oh my god. Such tech. Okay, so that's the finisher. You build a huge guy. How do I deal with that? Definitely not with debilitating injury at least. Uh oh. So he goes to 12. So 
Swing with the team. Skull Hunter. Disciple of Phoenix. And then Disciple of Phoenix to clear the way for Voyages and uh, Gary. Definitely don't want that. So that's my plan next turn. Which is and Gary. Draw some cards. It is fantastic. You gain life. You'll be at 14. That's not gonna be nearly enough, is it? How much mana do I have? 10. Backwater. Swing with the team. Voyages and Gary. You can still counter. But I can play two voyages end. I don't want that. Gary! Damn it! Oh. <laughs> okay, let's try to remember what the sideboard plan was. No, I don't have to remember. I have the link. It's in the show notes. Thank you, RR Media, for building this fantastic deck. Against control decks, we want negates. Mind rots. Unmake the graves. I still haven't put the disdainful strokes in the deck. I must remember to do that. For it, Shosan was great, wasn't it? We're taking out flesh to dust, the debilitating injuries. I think I'm taking out Skull Hunters over Shosan. Peel, of course. And the black cat. That's my plan. Keeping the voyages in for Gary. Keep this. Show some. I just told him he made an awesome deck and he said thanks. Okay. Will he now counterspell my signing blood? 
I don't know if he should, should he? Negate! Uh, I'm gonna play Black Cat in Evolving Wilds for Black. He divinates. Folding to my fantastic beatdown. Black Cat. Should I sit back now with negate? I can sign in blood for more lands. If I start missing land drops, I don't want to sit back. But as long as I'm hitting them, I'll be happy to counter his stuff. That thing I would like to counter. Wow, he just discards two cards. That seems uh, not good. Keeping his hand healthy and big. Well, I guess I'll just sign in blood. No luck with lands this week. Oh, he's missing land drops. So I'm signing for more lands here. And I don't find them. But I'm keeping the gate open here. There it is, the land. Swing. And I don't really need to play anything. But I should, so I'm playing another black cat. And I'm of course not defending it if he counters it. Death Touch guy to the graveyard, filling up nicely. Getting blue here. Six cards in the graveyard. Forced through my own Hmm. Show some. Backwater negate. Hmm. Now I could force through my own treasure cruise. Is it worth more to block his? I can also just disciple him here. But I'm not gonna get his cruise. But he might just have another negate to force through his crew, so I'm probably better off forcing through mine. <laughs> okay, that that's so clunky. Okay, we're casting the treasure crews. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Well, looking good. Why do I still have Farika's Cure in my deck? Mm. 
Maybe because it isn't in the deck list anymore, is that so? No, it's still in the deck list. Why don't I take it out? Because I think that he has... Uh, Rise of Eagles, but he doesn't. So I should have taken it out. But now I'm not really getting anywhere, am I? So I'll wait until next turn and then try to do double disciple, just like last time. I can kill the black cat to discard a card at random. That's interesting, I'll do that. Oh, so he has Flurry of Horns. Interesting. Okay, he has four cards. I have eight mana. I'm gonna do the double disciple. Maybe they're all counter spells. They were not. Something's gotta go. Well, the adept proved to be pretty troublesome, so I'm gonna make him discard it. And if it taps out for Flurry Horn here, Horns here, I can just... Or that thing. I can just Gary here, but it doesn't do a whole lot. I can unmake the Graves for Disciple and Black Cat as well. Where's the Gary? Oh, miscalculated. And then I'll make the graves. While he's tapped out for Disciple and Black Cat. Getting black. Like that. And we know he has Flurry of Horns. Did... I wonder what he kept. Probably a cruise or some card draw. So we fought the cliff, so he can't play Flurry now. We know he has Flurry, but we don't know the other card. Attack. Play the black cat. Play the disciple. Tearing his hand to shreds. So now he has nothing. But now I don't have anything either. I want to see his card. That was wrong, wasn't it? 
Yeah, that must not have been great. I'm just gonna block with everything if he attacks. He'll become a 5-3 with the... No! Not that crap! And now he has to attack. And that doesn't look profitable, does it? Let's go off! <laughs> yeah, disdainful stroke seems a lot better here. Mind rot. So we know he doesn't have the card, so we can attack with the Gary. Just the backwater. But he attacks. That's ambitious. He still doesn't have any cards, so he dies, right? This is where the voyage ends, Gary. No, it isn't. It's where the voyage begins. Shout out to you, R Media One, for your fantastic deck. And thanks, guys, for watching.